I just love having a go at different dimensional techniques. And the next one I'm going to show you is called a treasel card. As you can see from the cards behind me, it gives you a wow factor and sometimes a little bit tricky, but I'm going to share with you some top tips on how to create dimensional fun cards. So this one is a treasel and to start off with you just need to fold your A4 card in half. So I'm going to fold it like so. And then you simply need to divide this into three. And so all I'm going to do is I'm using my paper trimmer and you can score it or you can cut it, whichever you find easier. I find it easy to cut first and then score. And to start off with, you need to uh, cut into three points. So my first one that I'm cutting is seven and then 14. So all I'm going to do is line it up to seven, use my paper trimmer, and you can use a pencil and a ruler if you want to. So then as you can see, I've then cut it up to my spine. My next point is 14. And then I do exactly the same, go up to my spine. And that has created three sections. And then to do a treasel, the way I to describe a treasel, it is three easels in one card. So then what you need to do is score a line from the top corner all the way down to the bottom left. And you can use a scoreboard with that if you want. I still use my paper trim, I find that much easier to do. So all you need to do is get it to a position where you can do it. So let me start off with this one here. So I'm going to score from one corner to the other. I'm using my embossing tool and I'm using the line that you would normally cut in. And then I'm going to score along there. So that scored that line. And then I'm lifting that back and then do exactly the same with the next one. Line it up so you can score like so. Literally line it up and score to there. Lift the next one up and do exactly the same. So obviously this one's a little bit more trickier so I just turn it over so it's almost from the bottom one again. Get the right way everybody, there we go. Line it up so it goes, this one's from the bottom a little bit fiddly this is why some people use a scoreboard I like everything all in one go and then I line it up and score move it to the top as I said it can be a little bit fiddly line it up to the angle that you want move that out of the way and then I'm scoring from one angle all the way to the bottom like that and then what you do is then you fold these over like so and this creates a treasel effect. So as you can see you end up with three easels. To actually make these stand up when you actually decorate your card what you need to do is put foam pads on on your sentiment or a button and you can put it on each of the section like so or you can actually, what I tend to use is also maybe use a ribbon strip all the way along. But the beauty about this technique is it can actually go totally flat in an envelope. So you can post it. So have a go and happy crafting.